Hello, Beverly neighbors. My name is Julie Flowers, and I'm running for at-large city council. It's, an op it's a wonderful opportunity to address you, and I'd like to thank BevCam and the whole team there for this opportunity to chat with you. This year's race for at-large city council is an exciting one, with a broad field of six candidates, and I am honored to be in the mix with those who are running. I believe that Beverly has the happy luxury of having excellent choices on the ballot this year. On November 7th, Election Day, you as a voter will have the opportunity to use three votes in the at-large city council race, and I would be honored to have you consider casting one of those votes for me. I grew up in Beverly, attending McKay Elementary School, then Memorial Middle School, and graduating from Beverly High School with the class of 1997. I am extremely proud of the excellent foundation that our public schools gave me and the excellent sense of community that I had growing up here in Beverly. And so after graduating from college, completing my master's degree, and spending some time working in the retail management field, I moved back to Beverly when my son Emmett was two, wanting to give him that same sense of community that I enjoyed growing up here, and wanting him to have that same excellent foundation that I received from our Beverly Public School system. I want to be able to provide that for all of our children and to give that sense of community to all of our residents. And that is why I am running for at-large city council. In my professional life as a minister at First Baptist Church in Beverly, I have had the honor of spending the last 10 years out in our community, listening to people, hearing from them about the needs in our city, and striving to work with the city and with trusted community partners to be able to meet some of those needs and to lift up and elevate the voices of those within our community. I am running for at-large city council because I would love to take my experiences out there on the ground and put them to work for you, listening to you, helping to bring your needs, your ideas, and your concerns to the city level. I am eager to share with you my ideas as well. Ideas like moving the conversation about removing the full day kindergarten fee of $4,000 ahead so that we might be able to get to a place where we can remove that fee and offer all of our children access to full day kindergarten, getting them in on the same level and addressing the achievement gap from their first moments in the Beverly Public Schools. Ideas like talking about how to keep our city affordable and accessible for all people, continuing Beverly's position as a regional leader in affordability and ensuring that young people, families and our seniors who have long called Beverly home can continue to afford to live here and to be a part of the community that they love. I would love to talk with you about ideas about sustainability and environmental concerns, modernizing our waste stream in ways that are good for our environment, but also good for our budget. And to talk with you about my ideas about how to balance needed new growth that helps to support small businesses and our downtown with quality of life issues, such as traffic concerns, class size, and the need for green space in our city. In the next weeks until the election on November 7th, I will be meeting you around town, at your doors, and at my Wednesday drop-in hours. And I encourage you to send me your questions, your ideas, and your concerns by email as well at julieforbeverly at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you. I have been working hard to earn your vote since I pulled papers in April to run for city council. I will continue to work hard to earn your vote. And my pledge to you is that if elected to the city council, I will continue to work hard for you and continue to listen, elevate your needs and your concerns to the city level. I would be honored to have you cast one of your votes for me on November 7th for at-large city council in Beverly. Thank you so much and I look forward to meeting with you.